Learning with Leanne, narration by Cheyenne. Five minute snuggle stories. Dumbo, Dumbo's snowy day. Dumbo was a very special elephant. With his huge ears, he could soar through the sky like a bird. Dumbo performed in a circus with his mother, Miss Jumbo. One chilly day, the circus animals were on their way to a new town, but their train, Casey Jr., was struggling to get through the fallen snow. His wheels slid on the icy railroad tracks. Finally, Casey Jr. decided to, it was too dangerous to keep going. The train came to a stop and everyone waited for the snow to pass. Dumbo was happy the train had stopped. He never played in snow before. He thought it felt awfully strange as he tried to walk through it. The snow pressed against his feet like cold sand. You can do it, said Miss Jumbo. She gave him a gentle nuzzle. Soon, Dumbo got the hang of walking through the snow. He liked the crunch, crunch, crunch sound he heard with every step. All morning, Dumbo and his mother played in the snow. They gathered snowballs together with their trunks. They made snow elephants. They even played hide and seek. But as Dumbo and his mother explored, they got further and further away from the waiting train. Suddenly, Dumbo slid down a steep hill. He called after his mother to follow him. But when she reached the bottom of the hill, Miss Jumbo realized she couldn't climb back up. Dumbo tried to push, he tried to pull, but nothing worked. Miss Jumbo slid further from the slope toward a sharp cliff edge. We'll have to fly and get help, Miss Jumbo told him. So off Dumbo flew, as fast as his ears would take him. As he soared toward the train, the wind began to blow. It pushed harder and harder against him. The snow stung his eyes and the cold nipped his toes. Finally, Dumbo's ears got so cold, he couldn't fly. As he waited for the wind to pass, he worried about his mother. Once the wind died down, Dumbo raced back to the train. Quickly, he gathered all the animals together so that they could help. What are we waiting for? Timothy Mouse cried. We've got to save Miss Jumbo. Dumbo led his friend back to the cliff. By the time they found Miss Jumbo, the windstorm had pushed her even further to the cliff's edge. The animals knew they had to think of something fast. Oh dear, worried the giraffe. How can we get down to the help? Timothy snapped his fingers. He had an idea. Everybody lined up, he shouted. He ordered the animals to grab one another's tail. At the front of the line, the ostrich leaned over the cliff to take hold of Mrs. Jumbo's trunk. One, two, three, pull, Timothy yelled. The animals worked together, huffing and puffing, pulling and stretching, until Miss Jumbo made it safely to the top of the cliff. Hooray, everyone shouted. Suddenly, there was a loud sound, crack. The cliff side gave way and the animals tumbled down. Watch out, yelled the hippo. Yikes, cried the monkeys. Uh-oh, said the giraffe. Help, hollered the bear. All of the ambles, animals tumbled together and rolled down the hill. Before long, they had become a giant snowball. How do you stop this thing? Timothy shouted as they zoomed along. The snowball gathered speed until... Crash, bang, boom, oof. The animal snowball hit the bottom of the hill and broke apart. Is everyone okay? Timothy asked as he straightened his hat. Luckily, everyone was fine, just a little dizzy from their unexpected snow ride. All of the animals began walking back to the train. Walking wasn't nearly as fast as riding a snowball, but it was a lot less scarier. That night, Mrs. Jumbo gave Dumbo a warm bath. Thank you for flying to find help today, Miss Jumbo said to her son. I'm so proud of you. Dumbo smiled and blew a trunk full of water over his head. Hey, 
Don't forget about me, said Timothy from a teacup bath. I helped too, Mrs. Jumbo nodded. You certainly did. Thank you. Oh, gee, said Timothy. It was nothing, nothing at all. Then it was time for bed. Dumbo snuggled up against his mother and Timothy nestled underneath Dumbo's ear. Good night, my darling, Miss Jumbo said softly. Sleep tight, said Timothy. Dumbo fell asleep right away. Tomorrow, he and the circus animals would perform for hundreds of happy children in the new town. But for now, Dumbo was glad to be warm and safe with his mother as the snow fell gently outside. The end.